Ayy, brewski, I'm in my zone like a 2-3 Sue me, urban gorilla, no Gucci Yeah, the strippers, I be kicking like Bruce Lee Check my precepts, raw than sushi Summertime, so I stay in the cool B yeah. On the corner throwing bums like I'm Drew Brees Yeah, tap out, for your how will be bringing them gas out Cut a heathen, cause he running his fat mouth Off the dribble, I be balling like Red letters above it, and behold, I come in quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according to, uh, excuse me, to give every man according as his work shall be. What's the work? The works of labors. I guess. Works. So it's, it's not about faith. You have to do something, right? Well, it is about faith. What, what's the work? Here? What's Christ talking about? The work. What's the work? Maybe it's talking about rewards. I don't know. You're rewarded based on your work. You get rewarded work? based on work? your work. You get rewarded based on your work. What's the work? The works of, 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 of whatever God tells you to do. Serving so the Lord. The commandments. The, <laughs> the, it's commandments, right? Thank you. You know, okay, okay, let's let's read. Listen, did, did Christ tell people to keep the commandments? Do what? Did Christ tell people to keep the commandments? Oh, yeah, 100%. So why, don't you keep why aren't the commandments? you keeping the commandments? Man? How am I not keeping the commandments? You just said you, you just said you don't keep the law. <laughs> No, I didn't ask you to keep the commandments. You said no. The law of the Old Testament, I don't keep that law. Christ said to do it. He fulfilled the law. Therefore, Did we he don't tell have people to do it? Huh? Did he tell people to do it? To do the law? Yeah. To keep the law, yes. Well, there's nothing wrong with uh, doing the law, but that's not what saves a person. All right, let me touch you real quick. This is uh, Revelation 22 and 14. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may, that they may have right to the tree of life, and may enter into the gates into the city. What does that mean? Maybe it's talking about the, the teachings of Jesus. This is Revelation. This is the last chapter of the Bible. Yeah, yeah. Blessed are they that do his commandments. That what are the commandments? The, the commandments of Jesus Christ. What, what are those? Uh, there's a lot of them. I don't know. Oh. You can't name them? I mean, I can't name them all, can you? But you do them. You should know them. Oh. Of course they are. Oh. So, so, wait a minute. Oh. Alright, let me play. Let's wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. He says he keeps them, though. No, so, he doesn't. No, the commandments of Christ. You keep the commandments of Christ? Uh, to the best of my ability. But you don't know what they are. Well, I mean, the Bible talks about them. Like, for I example. I want you to talk about it, Mary. Uh, okay. Tell us. Okay, for example, Jesus, Jesus said this. He declared that. Uh, there's there's one law in the Old Testament. Well, there's many different commandments that Jesus gave, but Jesus gave us one law, and that is to love. Because Jesus said that if you love, then you have fulfilled the whole law. Actually, he says if you love the Lord thy God and you love your brother as thyself, and all the commandments hang on those two. Yeah, but that's yeah. not. So you're saying that that disqualifies all the other ones? Is that what you're saying? It it it, it, it frees and, it, and negates you from the, all the yeah, other yeah. ones. The Bible says that. That, that Jesus, brother, brother, brother. the Bible says that Jesus, he took away the handwriting of requirements, right? Which is no, 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 the no, law. No, you might, you no, might have missed about that. You're talking about the Ephesians. No, I'm talking about Colossians. Colossians 2, 14, yes. yeah. Well, it, 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 we'll, we'll get there in a second. The, the Bible teaches us in Romans that Jesus, he has freed us from the law. Because no man is able to fulfill the whole law. In the Old Testament, people thought that they had, they're saved by the law, by the law, by the law. But the thing is, no matter what, the Bible teaches so us. So let me ask you this: that, So the people wait, in the Old Testament, the Bible teaches us that everyone has fallen short of the glory of God. If you fulfill six hundred, or how many laws are there in the Old Testament? Six thirteen. Six hundred thirteen. Yeah, thank you. If you fulfill six hundred and twelve, but you fall short of the six hundred and third one, you're bound to go to hell. No, no, yes, no, but Jesus, no, no, he, but Jesus, no. he set us free. That's what that, Jesus, he set us free from the law, from the right. requirement. But he taught all, right? Let me let me cut him. Hold on, let me cut him. Let me cut him. Let me cut him. Matthew nineteen and sixteen. Because he said the commandments don't save you. But let's see what Christ says. Matthew nineteen and sixteen. And be hope. Excuse me. I said I'm talking about the Old Testament. Oh, of course you are. Of course you are. And Christ is talking about those two. Watch this. And, and behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? What's Christ going to say? 
Oh, Just believe in me tell them to, before to, I die. To keep the commandments. Which commandments? Which commandments? Um, like, I think it's like, um, love your neighbor as yourself, honor your father and mother, um, and a few other ones. Don't commit adultery, don't steal, don't, don't adultery, bear false don't witness. Steal. Those are all in the Old Testament, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it also says, you only do, you, you said earlier, you only do one or two. But that's what proves that you have to keep all of them, because all hang, all, all the commandments hang on those two. If I love you, I'm not going to sleep with your wife. If I love you, I'm not going to kill you. If I love you, I'm not going to steal from you. So why are you saying only those two? Every law hangs on those two, because love, is, it, it, it entails all of them. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Is being, is being a homosexual against, is, is that being sin? Yeah, 100%. Can you show me that where Christ said again? Where Christ spoke against that? About homosexuality? Yeah, yes. Can I show you? Yes. Um, Christ, I don't know if he ever spoke specifically on homosexuality, um, but in the New Testament, Apostle Paul, Apostle Paul does say you know, that the, you know why? That the homosexuals, he was teaching, he was, that the homosexuals won't inherit the kingdom. You know why? Because him, Christ, and everyone was teaching the same laws that Moses taught. But exactly. you're, telling me, you're telling me it's not the same commandments. What? You said it's not the commandments of Moses. You said it earlier, right? No, he, the thing is, Jesus, he walked in the law. He fulfilled the law. He, 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 he lived in the commandments. He is God himself. Only God is able to fulfill the Watch this. That's not true. That's not true. Are you going to say I, no one has ever, no, no one has ever uh, uh, fulfilled all the law? Is that what you're saying? Because mind you, mind you, like about 70% of, a lot of the percentages of the, of the Torah got laws concerning to the priests also. And then there's other, and there's laws that everyone got to, like, has to keep, right? But a lot, a, a lot of them is, 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 is the medical law that the priest has to keep. That's pertaining to them, right? And the ones for, and there's laws pertaining to women, what they got to do. But there's also laws for all the children of Israel. You know what I'm saying? Those are all laws set, not, but not everyone's are going to keep, uh, uh, keep the laws of the, uh, uh, for, for the Levites because they got their laws. You know what I'm saying? So that's that, that's pretty much a good point saying not everyone can keep the whole law. Because watch, we got instances, if we got instances of people that are blameless, meaning they kept all God's laws before Christ walked. Right? Give me that. Yeah, but they were, they were not 100% uh, Fine. Let's, righteous. Let's read. Oh, really? I mean, this, the Bible does quote a few people this, being blameless and righteous, but the Bible says that David was blameless, but he said... No, 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 no. As a matter of fact, it does say that he was righteous perfect. and perfect and only spoke about that one sin uh, yeah. with Bathsheba and Uriah, but aside from that, he was perfect. He was a man of, of God's own heart. But watch this. But there's, but there's a man around there which was a contemporary of Christ. Watch this. Give me that. Luke. Even, even he himself uh, was not able to keep the whole law. Just, just this is Luke 1 and 5. Uh -huh. There was in the days of Herod, the king of Judea, a certain priest named Zacharias of the course of Abia. And his wife was of the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. Do you know who these were? These were the parents of John the Baptist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were both righteous before God. They were both righteous before God. Read. Walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord blameless. So they walked in all the law, statutes, and commandments. It's not impossible. Do you think Christ would be such, so unjust and tell his believers to be perfect as my Father's heaven is perfect? So you can be, right? Not 100%. Wait a minute. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Right? Who's through Christ? You can do that, right? Through Christ. So you can be perfect. Through Christ. Great. Through Christ. It's not doing nothing, though, right? But it's through Christ. Great. He's the example you have to follow, correct? But it's through Christ. Exactly. The faith. Yeah. Amen. So that means you have to do something for him, right? Yeah. 100%. So why aren't you doing it? Doing what? You just told me you don't keep the law. You don't keep the law. No. I, 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 I keep as much as I can, as much as the Holy Spirit gives me the strength. But the thing is, the Bible teaches me I now walk in the Spirit. Not, I don't walk in the law, but I'm glad I walk you said, in I'm, the I'm Spirit. Glad, I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you said that. I'm no, going to you. Don't worry. 
about it. Don't worry about it. Don't, but, yeah, it's, Eric, don't worry about it. Eric, don't cut you. Don't worry. Romans, let me, let me get this. It does, it does say, because Lord Sir, is, sir, 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 let me read this real quick. Romans 7 and 7. Or, excuse me, Romans 7 and 14. Excuse me. For we know that the law is spiritual. Amen. Is the law spiritual? Amen. So that's how you keep it in the spirit, right? It's a spiritual law. The law is spiritual, yeah, because it came from God. Okay, so can you do it? Not the whole law. Oh, man. What, what are you? Are you white? Me? Yeah, you white? I'm pretty white. <laughs> Where are you from? Don't talk about your skin tone. Where's your, I'm pretty white. Where's your lineage? Your lineage. If, if I told you I wasn't a Jew, my. <laughs> I mean, we're asking. I mean, I, I'm not. I'm not. I don't think I'm Jewish. <laughs> That's pretty. the point. What's your lineage? My lineage? Yeah, your father, your grandfather. But, but why does it matter? Would, would that depend on whether I'm safe or not? I mean, actually, yeah. Really? Of course. Christ came to die for the Jews. If you're not a Jew or Israelite, then... So what happens to the rest of the world? My, we my, get that. Brothers, huh? that's, that's, we that's, get that. that's not true. Jesus didn't only die for... We already read it. For the, um, we already read it. And I got yeah. another one for you. It's <laughs> great. So this is Colossians 1 and 28. Whom we preach, warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom that we may present every man perfect in Christ Jesus. perfect in Christ Jesus. But it's impossible according to you. No, it's only possible in Christ Jesus. How? 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 And that he resurrected on the third day, right? Uh -huh. And when you believe this, uh -huh. you are putting your faith into Christ. So now you are in Christ. And because you are in Christ, you are now perfect. No, no actions. No, no actions. No. no actions. Just your belief. So let's scrap the book of James. Yeah. The brother of Christ. Faith without, faith without works, works is dead. dead. Amen. Oh so God. what are the works? <laughs> The what are the words? I asked that earlier. No, you didn't. Yes, oh, I did. The law. We were talking about the law. Yeah. Now you get understanding. So it's faith and words. A, a, a James said, show me your faith without, uh -huh. your works. without your works. And I will show you my faith by, by, by my, my works. works. Yes. So what works because, do you do? Because faith without works is dead. Yeah. So if you say you believe in Jesus Christ, but you do not follow him, then your faith is dead. And follow him do what? What did he say to do? Obey. Keep God's commandments. Obey his commandments, amen. God's commandments. You are admitting you don't do that. I know. I know. Obey. Ooh, <laughs> give me a mile. No, 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 no. I said I don't because no, no, no. I said I don't keep I don't keep the, the law of the old test. So is, is, is Jesus God? No. Jesus is God. Okay. Is he the God of the old testament? Is he God of yeah. the old testament? So God so Jesus gave the law to Moses. Yeah. And when he got on the earth in the flesh, those laws changed magically, right? It did. Watch this. That's what you're saying. Oh, no. Wait, no, no, no. Watch this. So what are you they, talking about? In a sense, they did because he gave us a new covenant. He gave us a new testament. Oh, my God. He gave God. us a new law. What law? What law? What yeah. new law? The, the, the law of, of the spirit. What are they? Yeah, give us an example. The law of faith. The law of faith. Is there a law of faith in the Old Testament? Uh, there is. So what's new? <laughs> what's new about it? Jesus. Jesus is prophesied in the Old Testament. But he was not yet, uh, for, he was not yet seen on the earth. So what happens to walking the same in the flesh? Though, whether Jesus is there or not, right? I know, but what the thing is. But Jesus is God. God gave it to these people. So what's the difference? But he's I, I saying know. that the law can't save nobody. So what happened to all the righteous men that died before before the coming of Christ? They were Moses, they were waiting. everyone. They were waiting for Jesus. How? How? To come. It says, it, it says in the Bible that Jesus reconciled all things under the earth, on the earth, and above the earth. Or let's say just on the earth and, 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 and in the heavens. All things together were reconciled to God through Jesus Christ. 
the shedding of his blood. So, so all now, those so all, people that are dead that so, never met Jesus are reconciled. To so all those men, those righteous men, Ezra, so everyone that kept God's like laws, they weren't they, they weren't saved so by the faith people that got lost Moses. Wait, wait, I don't know who I'm listening to. Go ahead, people go ahead. have faith when they're dead. People have faith when they're dead. People that already dead, died two thousand years before Christ. Well, well, Jesus said that God is not a, a God of the dead, but He's the God of the living. So people that are dead. That oh, died that. before Christ yeah. came on the earth. Yeah, they have faith somehow. That's just saying. But yeah, they waited until Christ came. Yeah, because they in the were... spirit world. Yeah, yeah. Can you give me like an example of that? Like we need that exactly. Yeah, can you read that though? A verse base. Because you're telling me yeah, yeah. that all those righteous men weren't saved because Jesus hasn't came yet. You're telling me those men that kept God's laws, made all their sacrifices. Earnestly, with the broken heart and the contrite spirit, yeah, yeah, yeah. they weren't saved because Christ hadn't came yet. No, so this they, is what you're telling me. He's saying, since they, Christ they, died, he reconciled everything to him, so they're saved through faith. But how do you have faith when they're dead already? So they were saved by faith as well. How? But the thing is, they were not made 100% righteous because Christ did not yet shed his blood. Because in the Old Testament, the Bible teaches us that the only way that uh, sins can be taken away is by the shedding of blood, right? And therefore, in the Old Testament, it was through the shedding of the blood of animals. Yes. But the blood of animals... Wait a minute, hold on, I'm going to cut you on that. Uh, what, what, what sacrifice did David give for adultery? Ooh, that's true. Um, is there a sacrifice you can give for adultery? I don't remember. Of course not. Go to Psalms 51. He died. There's a yeah, the he was supposed to die. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, what sacrifice did David give? Any sacrifice. No, no, no. For adultery. No, 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 no. For, adultery. For, that. for adultery, was it his child? I don't know. His, his child, his child did, die. did die. His child did die. His, his son died. Of course, yeah. his son died. Yeah, God punished. But that was, but that, but that was part. Of, that was part of the, the judgment. That was part of the judgment. The child was going to die. That was part of the judgment. So that is a sacrifice. A sacrifice to get? No, no, no. no. Okay then. So what sacrifice that? You said sins had to be covered by a sacrifice. David didn't give a sacrifice. He couldn't. God just had forgiveness on him. That's it. Right? Yeah, because maybe because it was by faith in, in that time as well for David. I, I don't know. But I, what I'm just saying that's is that... That's a better answer. That's a better answer. That's a, that, if anything, that's watch this. Answer. We'll just give you the answer. Right, right here. Psalms 51 and 16. For thou desirest not sacrifice, else would I give it. Thou delightest not in burnt offering. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit and a broken and a contrite heart, O oh God, that will not despise. Amen. That was a sacrifice for him, right? Yeah. Right? Because he says, I can't give you a sacrifice. You're, I, you won't be pleased with me. There's no sacrifice that I could give you. I was supposed to die. Yeah, 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 yeah. I she agree. Did. I agree. Yeah. So that she, makes your point no move. move. That, that makes your point move. So right there is there. no animal sacrifice he could have gave, right? For his sin at the time. I, yeah, I guess not. The only thing that he could have given to God was his broken heart, prayer, and faith, right? But what I'm getting at is that in the Old Testament, this is the law of God, that animal blood was supposed to be given to cover the sin of a person. But what I'm getting at with that is that the blood of animals was not able to take away the sin of a man, but it was only able to cover it for a time. In that time, it was covered for a time so that God would not, not God would be able to look away and not destroy a person by his wrath, but he was able to look away for a time until Christ came, shed his blood, brought his blood to the mercy seat, and showed it to God and said, hey, here's my blood, right? And then that blood, when a person believes in Jesus Christ, that blood actually, it takes away the sin of a person. But that's, that's the, the, I can't that's agree the, with that, though. Wait a minute. I can't, I can't I agree with that. I got him. I got him. I can't agree Don't with worry that. about it. I got because it. those laws were put in place for a reason. Let's go back to Rome. That animal was going to die. That animal died for you. You were supposed to die for those sins. Yeah, but right? the animal died instead. Exactly. Yes. So, I, no, no. They were forgiven. You've given those, you've given those sacrifices. Those people were forgiven. What yes, do you mean? They were forgiven and they were covered for a time. But they were not made 100% righteous. So, wait a minute. So, do you sin right now? Do I sin? Yeah. I mean... From time to time, the Bible says a this righteous a righteous man will fall down so seven times and get back Christ up. Christ died for your future sins. Uh, in a sense, yes. In a no, sense, no, he's not. no, he's not. In a sense, he has no, died no, for you. Absolutely not. No. Let me read it. Romans three. This is your favorite. This is your favorite book, according to you. Romans three, and let's start at uh, twenty five. Well, actually, let's read uh, let's read twenty three because that's what you quoted earlier. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, being justified freely by His grace. 
through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God has set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are past through the forbearance of God. Your past sins are forgiven, not your future sins. Right? We read that, right? Sins that are past. I know, but in the, in the Bible it also says that for Christ he died for the ungodly while we were That's so, irrelevant, sir. While we were, no, that's just, we're talking about the same no, thing. So. No, we're not. We're talking about, you said Christ dies for your sins whenever you sin. Let's read, let's, let's listen. No, you, you that's, that's, that's ridiculous. Really that if, it, if, if he died for your past, all, all your sins. But then, but, but then I could say with that, I could say that every single time that I sin, Christ has, Christ, Christ, has to, Christ has to die he, every time. Of, of, course, of, course, of course, according to what you're right, doing. Right. This Hebrews 6 and 6. If they shall fall away to renew them again into repentance, meaning what? If you keep on repenting every day, you're sinning this willfully, seeing they crucify to them the Son of God afresh and put him to an open shame. So every time you sin, after Christ died for your former sins, you're putting Christ in open shame because Christ is not going to die again. Well, yeah, that's if, you, if you're living like that. That's what you just admitted. What? You sin from time to time. Because you don't keep the commandments, right? Do you sin from time to time? No. I keep the laws of God, sir. All right. I don't right. believe what you believe. Where, where? I believe I'm this one. You keep the laws of God regardless. I agree Even in the new covenant that you mentioned. Remember, it's a new covenant, too. Brother, I agree with you. You're, you're not but why supposed are you to doing sin it? and live why, in sin. So, so why are you doing it? Doing what? Sin. Why are you living a life of sin? I'm... I'm not living a life of sin. Jesus set me free from my sins. But you still sin. Brother, the thing is, you can't say that you're, you're, you could say that you're never going to sin again, but then in that sense, there was no point of Jesus Christ dying for you on the cross. That's not true. No. He just ran the rules for it, for your past sins. What's your question? Is, is lying a sin? Oh, uh, depends. I already answered that question. No, no, oh, it's lying a sin. Lying, lying to his wife. Lying to your people, yes. Lying to your people. Of course. So you can, so if I'm not your people, you can lie to me. Of course I can. <laughs> what? Do you want me to show you that? Let's read it. Let's just read it. Let's just read it. You're going to read it. You don't know the Bible, that's all. You don't know the Bible. Yeah, yeah. Alright, show me, show me. I'm going to read it to you. Where is the place? It's in the law, of course. For the things you don't read. Um, this Romans, or excuse me, not Romans, Levit Leviticus 11, uh, Excuse me, Leviticus 19, excuse me, and 11. He shall not steal, neither deal falsely, neither lie one to another. Let's talk about the Israelites. I'm allowed to lie to another heathen. I'm allowed to lie to a Gentile. That's why Abraham lied. Right That's why wrong? Abraham lied. Did Abraham lie? To Pharaoh? No, no, no. This Joseph, is my sister, no. but it's really his wife that yeah. he lied? So, the father of faith lied, right? Yeah, but God, God, is that is, it? But God is not pleased when a person lies. So why did he choose Abraham? A lie. And, and call him his friend. Abraham, God's friend. So yeah. So, that's so it's true. okay to lie, right? Because Abraham no, lied. His father of faith lied. No, it's not okay, okay to lie. How, 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 how do you get judged? Because Jesus never lied. Jesus We're talking about Abraham. Example. Abraham, the father Abraham of faith. He's not our example. Huh? Oh, wow. He's an example of faith. I can't believe he said that. He's not our example of faith. He's not? He's not your example of faith? No, I said he, he's the example of faith. I would say that. So a liar had faith, right? Yeah, yeah, a liar can have faith, for sure. Okay. That's fine. And, and he wasn't punished for that lie, right? Yeah. He was. Was he punished for the lie? Maybe not. We don't know. Okay. <laughs> Was it Paul Guile? Yeah, Paul lied. Paul Guile. Paul lied. Paul lied. Did Paul lie? He, caught, he, he said, I caught you in Guile. Yeah. Paul caught people from Guile, bro. Wait, what do you mean, Paul who? Apostle Paul? Yes. Apostle Paul. Okay. Are you read that before? Is Guile good? No, Guile's not good. But Paul did that. Paul did what? What? Paul, Paul was not a perfect man. He was obviously also a sinner. Oh, but no, this is what's talking about when like, he was in his commission, though. No, I know, but, but guys, like, just, just to go back to, you know, whatever, because me and him are going to have to get going, and... But just to go back to everything, like it's if so if I was not if I was not black or or um, or like or Asian or whatever 
whatever kind of people, whatever kind of people you guys believe are only saved, that no one's saved here. Huh? No one's saved. Well, but, but I mean, you guys believe that you're saved from your sins, right? No one's saved, man. Like, and we don't sin up here. Like, you mean saved as in salvation? Like, no one's saved here. Man. No, I'm talking about uh, saved from saved from your sins. I, I mean, you guys have been uh, forgiven of your sins, right? Our past sins. Yes. Our past yes. Sins. Okay, your past sins. You guys have been forgiven of that. But only the the Israelites, only the Jews, you guys believe are able to be forgiven of their sins. That's what the Bible says. That's what, yes. Yeah. But I, I just I, I have to tell you guys that that is not true, and you guys have to repent. <laughs> repent of this doctrine. Can you, can you, can you give me a Bible verse? No, because like we really still. You, no, like, you you're, stu you're stuck. You're stuck in a religion. You know what yeah. religion means? The etymology of religion. Look it up on your phone. Look up the etymology of religion. Let's see what it says. The etymology. What is what is the etymology of religion? The study of the word the study, etymology. The, the root word for, for religion. What does it mean? You're in a religion. That's your problem. Religion, religion. Well, I mean, the Bible never says that religion. No, we're talking is about bad. the etymology, the definition of a word, the, the root of the word. I mean, you, it means to bind or restrain or hold back. The religion that you were taught is holding you back from the truth. The same verses we're reading, you don't agree with. I do agree. No, with no, you, you don't. I never disagreed with anything you guys of, read. Of course you did. How? You, you disagree with everything. You disagree right now. You say we got to repent. <laughs> <laughs> no, this, yeah. this doctrine. You guys need to repent. So what we're reading to you, we got to repent from. You guys need to repent from the fact that you guys think that only Jews have salvation. Can you show me a verse that says otherwise? There's many verses that we talked about, but you guys have an explanation of or a, we do, a way out. Because the Bible explains itself. No, the Bible does explain it, but 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 the thing is, you guys have... Uh, you know, made up this doctrine that only Jews oh can be saved, but that's we made not true. It up. We didn't read it. Christ said it. Hey, hey, what about what about yeah, the, but, the but, Holy Spirit? What about the Holy Spirit? Are you guys you guys are filled with the Holy Spirit? Absolutely. We wouldn't be able to do what we do without the Holy Spirit. We wouldn't be alive without the Holy Spirit. Yeah, I mean, we now, be alive. How about how about these people that aren't Jews, right? Oh yeah, you did ask earlier. You're talking about what, what about the other nations? Oh, what about the other let nations? Me, oh, oh, other please, nations. Please, listen, listen to that. Please, say, please. say other men, men of God that are not Israel, that, that are not Israelites, right? But they're filled with the Holy Spirit. And they're out here performing miracles, you know, through the Holy Spirit, healings, uh, deliverances, uh, you know, all these things. So, you know, like, is the Holy Spirit only meant for the Israel? So not meant for um, the most I can put the Holy Spirit on anybody, honestly. But do I agree that people are being healed and being delivered in the name Actually, of... Actually, yeah. not put it on it because they're yeah, I'm, I'm not saying yeah. that. I'm saying that the, I mean. the most I can allow the Holy Spirit to be used by other people, for sure. Yes. Or, or, or uses Does that mean they're holy and they're men of God? Yeah. No, absolutely not. The most high those same people that you believe, that Christian pastors or whatever case may be, okay. they, they're not, not keeping the laws of God. I'm not an Israelite, but how come, how, come back when I was, how come back when I was drinking, smoking, you know, stuck in my addictions, and then I came to Christ and I prayed and I was forgiven and... I received the Holy Spirit, and I actually received power to fight off the addiction. How come? How come I was able to do all those things? You know, well, not on my own. Maybe, There's no maybe, way I could have done it. Maybe the most, like I'm saying, like the Most High, He can use His Holy Spirit for anything He pleases. That's just what it is. It doesn't mean you're going to be saved. Yeah, so I'm, st I'm still not saved. Like, no one's can saved. Yet. I'm sealed with the Holy Spirit. Can you, can you go back to your old ways? I can. Is that but possible? I can, but through the strength of the Holy Spirit, I don't think I will. I know. That's not a problem. Change the property. The Bible talks about the mind like this of Christ. You, see, you don't keep like the laws either, right? What? Do you keep the laws? What laws are you talking about? The laws, the laws of God. The Ten Commandments, all these laws, right? Do you keep the Ten Commandments? See, I don't know. I don't understand why. Do you why. keep the Ten Commandments? The, I mean, <laughs> of course you know. <laughs> no, yeah, no, keeps, I don't know how to answer that. He keeps the Ten Commandments. That's the answer. He keeps the Ten Commandments, but that's not what Yeah, but I don't live in fear checking off the checklist to make sure every single day I'm you know, I don't live in fear like oh, I need to make sure because I have the Holy Spirit. So you don't fear God? Me, I fear God. I'm saying I don't have the fear of making sure I'm not in sin. Apostle Paul sin talks about this. Stop Do thinking about sin. Start thinking of peace. Stop. Stop thinking about sin. No, he's oh my goodness. He starts he says like stop worrying about sinning. Because as you're worrying about sin, you're thinking of things, you know, of not to sin, you're thinking of things to not the flesh. And he's talking about think of things to please the spirit. Right? Say that again. In, in, uh, in Romans, 6 to 8, 
God does not dwell in temples made with hands, meaning it's not going to be found in the building. Why? Because this temple was destroyed. Right? You know? So. Let me read it. So wait, wait, wait. Acts 7 and 48. Let me read this. Howbeit the Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands. As saith the prophet, heaven is my throne and earth is my footstool. What house will ye build me, saith the Lord, or what is the place of my rest? Guys, I didn't know church. No, I, I do believe people love God go to church scattered abroad, but they're not keeping the same laws that Christ kept. They're not following Christ in this area. Because every church on the earth Christ. says the laws are in the way. Yeah. Christ never said that. There are some churches out there that don't. But that's what I'm saying. The, the, the Christian church would teach you that God sent his son and he kept all the laws and you don't got to keep it no more. Christ literally says otherwise. You got that? Matthew 5? Matthew 5 and 17. Uh -huh. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Oh. That's why you guys say that Christ came to fulfill the, the, the law, the, the laws of the Lord, right? That's what you mean? I think he said, Eric, you, you said that, right? Wow. That Christ came to fulfill the law, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Read that again. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophet. He didn't come to destroy the law or the prophets. Read. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. But to fulfill. What does that mean? Fulfill the law. He fulfilled the law? Like all of it? Yeah. Let's see what he actually came to fulfill. Read. Acts 3 and 18. Uh -huh. But those things which God before had sowed by the mouth of all his prophets, that Christ should suffer, he has so fulfilled. So that's what he came to fulfill, Eric. All the sufferings and all the, everything that was prophesied to him, uh, about him in the law and in the prophets, that's what he came to fulfill. His birth, his death, his resurrection. Right? Now give me John 24 44. In John uh, 24. Luke 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 24. 
Luke 24 and 44. And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you, that all these things must be fulfilled, which were written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. So that's what he came to fulfill. Everything that was concerned, his teachings, his death, that's what he came to fulfill in the law and the prophets. He didn't, that doesn't mean that he came to fulfill the law, but you won't have to keep the law. That's not what it means. Go back to Matthew, Matthew 5 and 17, Lee. Come on. Matthew 5 and 17, think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Uh -huh. For verily I say unto you, uh -huh. till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so, he shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do them and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I say unto you, that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, ye shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. So that's so this is exactly what the church the church does. It tells us but he came to fulfill the he came to fulfill the law, but you won't have to do it. He says otherwise out of the mouth that he yeah. ate with. Yeah, no, I'm not I'm not saying that you don't have to do the law. It's it's a good thing to fulfill the law. The law is the law good. Is good. The Bible says that the law is good, there's nothing wrong with it, it comes from God. But the whole point is, is what I'm trying to explain and say what the New Testament teaches is that the law cannot save a person, right? But I want to read one verse and I'm going to have to get you go. I'm going to leave. We just proved I'm it just already. Leave with, I mean, I want to Christ leave. out of his own mouth says otherwise. And him that does not keep the laws and teach men not to keep the laws are going to be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. I want to read this before, and I'm going to have to get going. It was, it was a good conversation with you guys. Um, but here in the Bible it says, um, so I was looking for this verse, and it refers to a scripture from Hosea. And Romans chapter 9, verse 25. And I just want to see, I don't know what, maybe you guys also, I mean, you guys have a... I know what it says in scripture. Yeah, yeah, you guys know the Bible very well. Um, as he says also in Hosea, I will call them my people who are not my people. And her beloved who was not beloved. And it shall come to pass in the place where it was said to them, You are not my people. There they shall be called the sons of the living God. I was just thinking about this verse, a very interesting verse, like it even like how you guys are saying that the Gentiles are still the Jews. But the whole there's a distinction between the Jews and the Gentiles, even before the dispersion, right? Even before the dispersion, the ones that you guys are saying are Jews in the dispersion. That even before that, there was still Gentiles, right? So Gentiles, even understanding what is a Gentile, a Gentile is a person who is not of, of the common uh, of the common Jews, not the same people. That's what a Gentile literally is—a heathen, someone who's outside the, the uh, outside of the city, right? That's what a Gentile is, and, and a heathen is, right? So even in my understanding, that the Bible says several times, right? Let's, let's not even let's not talk about the Hellenists or anything like that. But even the Gentiles who did not, who were not called by God, but even to make God's own people jealous, He provoked them to jealousy by calling people who were not His own people. Right? So that's what you reference in Romans nine. No, this is a, even I'm referencing a different scripture right now. He provoked them to but jealousy. That way you bring it to Romans nine, though. That that way you brought that out. I'm just reading a, a scripture yeah, that he read at Romans nine. He refers to. So he's talking about other nations. And he's talking about Hosea. He broke other nations. The Gentiles, heathens, those who are not a part of the family of God. Are you sure? Yes. And that's because that's what I understand a heathen and a Gentile. And you agree with me, but I'm not talking about these Hellenists and those who were dispersed, who were once Jews, but then they were lost. Romans 11. That's what you're talking about. Um, no, he, right now he read Romans 9 to Yeah, no, but he's talking about Romans 11. Romans, 11, Romans, and 4, 11, Romans, goes Romans 11 and 14. Yeah. If by any means I may, I may provoke to emulation them which are my flesh and might save some of them. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? Is that Apostle Paul speaking this or is, is that God, God speaking? This is Romans 11. This is yeah. Paul's right. To provoke them to jealousy. That's what you're talking about, right? Okay, yeah. It's, I'm pretty sure it's that one. Let me start up, actually. Um, 13. For I speak to you Gentiles, but we know he's talking to Jews here. Romans. Romans. Yeah, sure. Let's call them Gentiles. 
Conclusion to Romans 11 to prove you don't know a damn thing. But anyways, Romans 11 and 13, you don't know a damn thing. Romans 11 and 13. For I speak to you Gentiles, and as much as I am the apostle of the Gentiles, I magnify mine office. If by any means I may provoke to emulation them which are my flesh, and might say some of them. For if the casting away of them be the reconciling of the world, I wonder what that world means. What shall the receiving of them be but life from the dead? For if the first fruit be holy, the whole the lump is also holy. And if the root be holy, so are the branches. What's this talking about here? If the first fruit be holy, the lump is also holy. What's that talking about? That's talking about Christ. No, it's not. For if the first fruit is holy, the lump is also holy. And if the root is holy, so are the branches. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's talking about those people who branched off of um, now, who's the first or, fruit? Who's the first fruit? Oh, talking about the Israelites. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the lump is who? The rest of the Israelites, right? Uh, sure, yeah. Great. And if some, and it says, so are the branches. And if some of the branches be broken off, and thou be a wild olive tree. Gentile. Are you sure? broken off. Yeah. Wait a minute. It's, Listen. Bro it's broken off from the lump, though. From the, from, from the tree. <laughs> he already admitted. Yeah, he already The first fruit. <laughs> Is holy, the lump is also holy, and so are the branches. And if the, if the branches of that same fruit be broken off, it's talking about the same Israelites that are broken off. The Israelites that live as Gentiles, that live, live in the other foreign lands, were grafted in among them, and with them partakers of the root and fatness of the olive tree, boast not against the branches, but if thou boast, thou bearest not the root, but the root thee. Thou will say then, the branches were broken off, that I might be grafted in. Well, because of unbelief, they were broken off. That's what it's talking about. They didn't believe in the Most High in the Old Testament, and they got scattered. And they, and thou standest by faith, be not high-minded, but fear. For if God spared not the natural branches, take heed lest He also spare not thee. Let's read all the way down. Verse twenty-five. For I would not, brethren. Who are the brethren again? <laughs> well, he's talking to these Romans. He's talking to Romans. Who are the brethren of Paul? Because in Romans 9, he said they were Israelites, right? So two chapters later, it's a different type of brethren? Well, yeah, he's referring to them as his brothers because they're they're both believers. Okay, so these are Israelites here. He's talking to these Romans. That so they're, not Israel, they're not Jews, they're not Israelites, right? I, I never said that. Maybe they, I'm asking you. Maybe, I was they, asking. maybe they became Jews, like I said already. You just want to force fit that in, but not a problem. Romans 11 and 25. For I would not brethren, so the brethren are Gentiles, right? That ye should not be ignorant of this mystery, lest ye should be wise in your own conceits, that blindness in part is happened to Israel, until the fullness of the Gentiles be come in. What is that talking about? What is the fullness of the Gentiles mean? Until, the, 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 until all the Gentiles that, that, that can be saved will be saved. Is that what it means? Yeah. This is the prophecy. Yeah. Where's the prophecy from? The Old Testament somewhere, I don't know. So where is it at? Let's read it. Hey, we have to get going, though. I'm going to read this last one to you. This is the last one before you go. Genesis 48 and 19. And his father refused and said, I know it, my son, I know it. He also shall become a people. Let me read up, actually. 17. And when Joseph, who's Joseph? Joseph. Joseph. Yeah, from the Old Testament. So that his father laid his right hand upon the head of Ephraim. Who's Ephraim? Ephraim. On the twelve tribes. Yeah, yeah. It displeased him, and he held up his father's hand to remove it from Ephraim's head until Manasseh's head. Who's Manasseh? Another tribe. Great. And Joseph said unto his father, Not so, my father, for this is the firstborn. Put thy right hand upon his head, upon Manasseh's head. And his father refused and said, I know it, my son, I know it. He also shall become a people. And he also shall be great, but truly his younger brother shall be greater than he, and his seed shall become a multitude of nations. 
What does that mean? How is he going to become a multitude of nations? What's that, what's that word here in Hebrew? What's the nations mean in Hebrew? Is it Gentiles? Of course. So when you read Romans 11, that's what it's talking about. Romans 11 to 25. Until the fullness of the Gentiles be committed. It's talking about the northern kingdom. Because the northern kingdom wasn't in Israel when Christ was walking the earth. Well, yeah, I mean, in their days, as long as when they were, they were alive, they, they didn't consider yeah, themselves right. Jews, you know? And that's the northern why kingdom would never be Jews. If they, they weren't, they're not Jews they're not ever. Jews. Only, know, the, only, only the southern kingdom were Jews. Yo, but check this out. Wait, that's wait. why Romans 9 and 25. We have, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you reference Hosea. Yeah, that's why you reference Hosea. Because Hosea was talking about the northern kingdom. No, th there's a lot of I need right. a lot of research I need to do, but check check me out. Let's hear the drum. Let me drum. Let me finish this real quick. This is one more verse. Uh, Romans 11 and 26. Uh, so let me read the last part of 25. Until the force of the Gentiles be come in, and so all Israel shall be saved. As it is written, there shall come out of Zion the deliverer, and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. Not everybody. Not everybody. What's that talking about? Yeah, not everybody. Yeah, not every question before they go. Hold on, hold on. Did you get that, Eric? Did you, did you hear what I said? What the Bible said? Actually? Nah, nah. Let me read it again. Yeah. I don't know if he, he yeah. asked somebody who's from Israel. That's what Satan does, but whatever. And so all Israel shall be saved. Are the Gentiles Israelites here? Or who's all Israel here that shall be saved? All, all of Israel, right? But it's talking about Gentiles in this chapter. So who's Israel? Yeah. Great Israel. Great Israel. That's a real good answer. That's actually pretty dope. You should say you don't know. 